Yeah, one of the exciting advances in prolotherapy is cellular prolotherapy, stem cell prolotherapy. Basically, what we're learning in science is that if you have chronic pain and whatever tissue is causing your pain, if you biopsy it and you look at it under a microscope, you'll find that there is not very many cells there. In other words, there's a cellular deficiency. So in other words, if you have chronic pain and you have, whether we look at your cartilage tissue, your ligament tissue, your tendon tissue, whatever is causing the pain, and you've had pain for more than a few months, when you actually look at it under a microscope, there's not enough cells that are available there to regenerate the tissue. That's different than somebody having acute pain, like you sprain your ankle, then there's a lot of, in other words, in that situation, there's so much inflammation because there's so many cells there. So it's sort of like, how can we get the cells there? How can we get the cells there? The normal way we've done it with prolotherapy is just normal prolotherapy. Inject a little bit of a fatty acid there, like sodium morioate or dextrose, you know, a little bit of sugar there. It will attract the immune system there. And that simulates what exactly happens when you injure tissue, cells burst open, the cells release fat, and the cells release um, uh, sugar. So that's, that's why we use sugar, you know, dextrose, and that's why we use uh, fat. However, some conditions, like people will come with a really big osteochondral defect, say, in the knee. You know, like in other words, there's a big hole there. Or they have bone-on-bone -bone arthritis. Now, you can help bone-on-bone -bone arthritis with normal prolotherapy, but it's so many visits. So is there a way for us, you know, in a safe way to get a massive amounts of cells there that will induce repair? So what's the easiest way for us to get a massive amounts of cells into a cellular depleted area like a bone-on-bone -bone arthritis? And so the person has to go to the prolotherapy doctor in the minimum amount of visits. The easiest way is to do some kind of stem cell prolotherapy. So one of the, the two types of stem cell prolotherapy are lipoaspirate prolotherapy and bone marrow prolotherapy. There are some stem cells in PRP, but the main stem cells are in the bone marrow or they're in the fat. So when I say bone marrow prolotherapy, it means that I'm using the bone marrow. I'm using the person's bone marrow for their own prolotherapy, you know, into the knee, into the cartilage, into the meniscus, to, to give a lot of cells there, and those cells will replicate and induce repair in the area. So in other words, stem cell prolotherapy gives the resources that are needed to the degenerated tissue. It gives the cells, the growth factors, and other substances and substrates so that those tissues repair in the least amount of time. If we want to get the maximum amount of stem cells, for instance, somebody just has one joint that needs prolotherapy, then lipoaspirate prolotherapy would be a great uh, treatment option. So in lipoaspirate prolotherapy, you're actually, by a lipoaspiration, uh, you're actually taking some solution, some saline solution with some numbing medicine, and you're basically making the fat be soluble, soluble in a liquid, that's just called tumescent. So in other words, you're liquefying the fat. So then you can aspirate kind of like a liposuction. So you're doing a mini liposuction, a mini lipo aspiration. You're aspirating the liquid fat and now you have it in a syringe. So then you clean that fat and then basically the stem cells in that fat you're injecting into the joint. Now normally that's combined with something like platelet-rich plasma or bone marrow because those uh, fluids have growth factors in them that will induce the stem cells that are in the joint to replicate. So the neat thing about uh, lipoaspiration is the fat actually houses stem cells. So in other words, when you inject the lipoaspirate inside the knee, not only is it releasing stem cells, but then it harbors stem cells. So you almost, you basically have a reservoir of stem cells. And then because you're putting PRP in there, you're causing those stem cells to replicate. Stem cells can turn into other cells. So if you're missing cartilage cells, it's sort of like, how are you gonna get cartilage cells in there? So the easiest way is gonna be to do it is just get stem cells from your own body, whether it's the bone marrow, or the fat, the lipoaspirate, and inject them in there. It can be done in a doctor's office. It doesn't take long. You know, the whole procedure uh, from start to finish, history, the procedure, I mean, it's like less than an hour. Uh, you know, it's very, very safe. The area is numbed, 
And then because stem cells take some time to grow, you know, and uh, convert into other cells like chondrocytes, which makes cartilage, uh, we normally see people every six to eight weeks instead of every four weeks. So, and most people, we see them about four visits, and the results so far have been excellent. And soon, hopefully, we'll have enough data where we'll you know, be publishing that data. But it's a very exciting time to be a prolotherapist. Uh, surely, uh, stem cell prolotherapy is the wave of the future, but it doesn't negate even if you have bone-on-bone -bone cartilage because the bone-on or bone-on-bone -bone arthritis, you still have to have comprehensive prolotherapy because about 50% of the pain is around the joint. So you have to get rid of that 50% of the pain. And then the problem probably started with some kind of instability. So to get rid of the instability, you have to treat the ligaments around the knee. So I'd really caution people or advise people that if you're gonna get you know, a kind of stem cell prolotherapy, just make sure who's ever treating you that they're doing the outside of the knee also. And of course, any kind of arthritis, bone-on-bone arthritis or any kind of uh, cartilage degeneration can be treated with lipoaspiration or bone marrow prolotherapy. This means if you have really bad osteoarthritis of the shoulder, the hip, the ankle, the knee, you know, all those uh, joints can be treated with lipoaspiration prolotherapy or bone marrow prolotherapy.